Well, the best ideas are always made around a campfire while drinking. Are they? Yeah. So we were drinking with friends last night around the campfire and realized that there is a small local RV show yeah. in Ocala. So we're going to go to it and check it out. It'll probably take us about An hour. 20 minutes to get through it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty small. The local ones are usually just in a parking lot somewhere. But we got nothing else to do. Yeah. And it's Friday. It's a nice day. So we like looking at RVs anyway. We didn't look at hardly anything at Tampa. No. Because we were busy working. But I think there's only going to be like a few different. It's like Tiffin, Jayco, Winnebago. Not a lot of not a lot of manufacturers. I'm, yeah. I'm assuming it's like one or two dealers. They're just Maybe. bringing some stuff from their from their lot, and putting it on this parking lot. I like to look just for ideas. I like looking at the big Class A's that are super expensive. Well, yeah, <laughs> that we'll never have. Yeah, like oh, let's look at this. We'll never have it. <laughs> it's really nice. But let's sit in it while we can. Yeah. Okay. So there's probably a lot of that going on today. Probably. And we're going with friends. We're going with the Roadsmiths, and this is our adventure today. Yeah. And we'll probably be. Uh, just clown around having fun. Yeah. Well, the show is at the Big Daddy Don Garlitz Drag Race Museum. It's out here in the field outside of there. And it looks like it's all drivables, or mostly drivables, which is smart, I guess, if you're doing a little RV show, you don't have to pay people to transport all the rigs over here. You can just have your salespeople drive them over here. And there is one fifth wheel over there, looks like. Maybe there's a couple, but mostly drivables out here. So we'll be walking through some of these, and uh, it's not really our thing, the drivables, but uh, they're fun to go in and check out, especially the really, really expensive ones like this bad boy right here, the Super C. We love going in those. And uh, so we'll take you through a few of them. We just learned that every RV out here is pre-owned, used. I don't think I've ever been to an RV show where all the RVs are used. They didn't say that on the commercial. And they made it sound like it was like a legit RV show. So I think what they did was they just took their inventory that they've been having trouble getting rid of and they pull it out here into the field and they call it an RV show. Well played, La Mesa. Well played. Well, you can get this used Super C for only $329,000. That is a heck of a deal. What model is this? What model is it? <laughs> Are we going in? Nice. Oh yeah, fancy. Lots of light. Seating facing the TV too, that's a bonus. It's got a chip in the room. Well it's used. I know. So you're not bad. Oh I'm sorry. Oh you're good. We got a bunks over here. That's nice. Nice little bathroom. I like the marbly look. It's a small shower. It is small. Ooh. Look, you know you're fancy if you got a safe. If you got a safe, you're wall. fancy. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh my god. You got some good stuff to hide if you got a safe. It is roomy. I do like the Super C's, but I just don't like the price tags that are attached to the Super C's. What do you think this is like new? What? The cost is new. Three hundred twenty-nine thousand used. Probably in the fours. Yeah, I would say half a million dollars. It's a new Mar. Yeah. Superstar. Superstar. Scout would like this. Yeah, you could build that out for Scout easy. He has his own little TV and everything. TV window. Because he likes to watch TV. Yeah. Perfect for him. Yeah. Comfy. Yes, I am. That'd be a nice ride. It'd be a Lots of room. very comfortable ride. 
Lots of headspace. Yeah. And skylight. I like it. Yeah, it'd be fun to drive, I think. Yeah. I don't like the price tag. Would you let me drive it? Yeah, I'd let you drive this. This you would? Yeah. It's like driving a big car. Very big car. There's no pivot points. Yeah. I like it. Like high. Like Queen of the Road. Willie Nelson high? Almost. <laughs> I can't believe it's already been over two years since we yeah. had our RB mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and our sleep has been great. Phenomenal. It's been crazy, life changing. Sleep impacts your posture, mm -hmm. your mood, and your overall health. Yes. And when it comes to that stuff, you really don't want to rely on the plywood like mattresses <laughs> that come in RVs when you buy your RV brand new. Yeah. So we have the Aurora Lux. From RV mattress with the cooling technology that keeps our bodies at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature. Yes, and we also have their cooling pillows, their bamboo cotton sheets, and the weighted blanket. We love it so much that we even got a mattress from my mom. Mm -hmm. And she's loving it too. And she doesn't live in an RV. Exactly. Which goes to show you, you don't have to live in an RV to buy an RV mattress from Brooklyn Bedding. They're for everybody and they come in regular sizes or RV sizes. An RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding also offers you a 120 night sleep trial, 10 year warranty, and free shipping from their factory in Arizona. The best part of all of it is we can save you 25% all you have to do is click on the link in the description of this video, go over to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, and type in the promo code WAGS at checkout. Well, there was one, count them, one Super C at the entire show, which we just walked through. That was the Superstar. So now we're going to go down Class A row. This is the Discovery 40M. This is wide open. This is nice. Look at the decor in here. The flooring is just really shiny. I'm a redneck. I like shiny stuff. So that's appealing to me. The seating is facing the TV, which is nice. And then it's like splits here. It goes both ways through the bathroom and through the hallway to the bedroom. Nice little box shower there. It's so small. It is tiny. Some bunks. But the decor in here is really nice. And this is, to me anyway, this is a lot nicer than the, than the Super C. Yeah, you're pretty tiny in there. I feel like I'm in a phone booth. Huh? Hey. Do something. Hey, Don't do something. on the glass. <laughs> they don't like that. Fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> There's the outside of that 40M Discovery we just, we just went into. Uh, so I, li I do like the paint too, the blue and the grays. Yeah. It's nice. It's Great pretty. Paint scheme. It's a pretty unit. It is. It's huge too. Yeah. For three twenty nine nine ninety eight, not too bad. Well, we're in a Tiffin now. This would do nicely because you got a TV over there, and then you got a TV over here, so we could watch whatever we're watching over here, and I can have the Cubs game going over there. And you're facing the, the TV in these nice recliners that I'm sitting in, and wide open. Got a little dinette over there, kitchen prep area. I like the cabinets, and I do like when they make the refrigerator look like part of the cabinets. Yeah. I don't know, I like that. But this is wide open. Big area for activities. Activity. Yeah, if I was gonna get a Class A, this would kind of be one of the, kind of the, the style that I'd be going for, I think. Not really? the price I'd be going for, but the style that I'd be going for, for sure. But this is nice having the bathroom in the rear. You got the bedroom here, and then you got, yeah, washer dryer, shower. Again, with the little showers, man. Yeah. These Class A's got the little, that was a tablet the little boxes. And the house opens. Don't break it. <laughs> we can't afford it. But it is nice. I mean, just walking out here, you can see, I mean, the flooring is really nice. The furniture is really nice. Wide open spaces. And it's only 300 and $59,000 down from 409 Dang. which is a heck of a deal. It's a bargain. Well, this definitely wouldn't work for us because you would be over there doing the navigating. I don't, I don't understand this. And you're not the best at navigating. Shut your face. <laughs> I am with a GPS. 
Well, that's what that's for. I know. You would navigate for the driver. But this makes no sense to me. This should not be next to the passenger. Uh, the driver needs to see. Yeah. You just tell me where to go. Tell me where to turn. You don't listen to me. I don't listen to the navigation either. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So what's the difference? <laughs> All right, we're in a tipping 50. 50th anniversary one? Yeah. I gotta talk about this because there's an emergency exit back here in the bathroom right behind the shitter. So I guess if you're having an emergency in this area, <laughs> you could just escape right out of there and leave everybody else in here to deal with uh, whatever you just laid down here <laughs> that you felt like was emergency enough to haul ass out of this little door. This shower is much better. Yeah? Yeah. A lot more room. Yeah, you do have more room in there. Yeah, navigation over <laughs> here for the driver instead of over here. You got some kind of little touch, pad touch screen something, something there. there. You're in charge of something. something. Which, if I'm being honest, I think Leslie should probably be in charge of most things. For example, uh, I don't even have my wallet today. We drove all the way here and got here and parked and I was like, oh man, I didn't got my wallet. I drove all the way here. So... Leslie's buying lunch today and whatever else we have to we have to go to the store so she'll have to buy that stuff and might be driving I didn't realize I was driving without a license so yeah she needs to be in charge of my life I'm a mess well I'll be honest with you all those class A's are starting to look the same all used inventory it's getting hot out I'm hungry but let's just went in here so let's see what's in here this is a Ventana 50 year Newmar anniversary we saw the 50 year Tiffins let's see the 50 year Newmars it's dated a little bit dated yeah just a little bit just a little bit. A lot bit. going on. Yeah, the wood definitely dates it. For sure. Lots of patterns going on. Yeah, we got these kind of patterns here, and then you got the stripes over here, and then you got yeah, the these bubbles. balances are a little funky. You got the bubbles in the kitchen on the backsplash. A lot of different crazy stuff going on in here, yeah, man. This is nice. But it's only $260,000, so. In the bedroom, of course. But Yet another different pattern. Yeah. And you got a pattern up there on the oh, wall. No, no, no. Then you got a pattern up here in the no. wood. What are, we, what are we saying no about? Yes. Oh, yeah, the little circular half, half circle. So, and another pattern. And another pattern <laughs> on the thing there. So the theme of this one is patterns. And oh, yeah. Another emergency door. Emergency door by the shitter. Must be a thing in class A's. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I was wrong. There's some more Super C's back here. There's three more of them. Leslie's in that one right there right now. So, look, 219,000, 189,000, 199,000. And these are used. So, I think the one, the Superstar up front was like 300 and something thousand. So, these are probably a little bit older. But probably still nice. I mean, I love the paint job on this thing. Full body paint, cool pattern on it. Let's go inside. Loft up here, lots of light. Yeah, it's just like a mini version of all the Class A's we've been walking yeah. through with the so televator over there. Yeah, this stuff. is actually a good floor plan. You have opposing slides. Some of the Super C's don't have opposing slides. Yeah. yeah. yeah this one we looked at Renegade. I'm in that Dynamax all those years ago. It was the same. Yeah, Not a huge fan of that. Bathroom over here and then the sink just out here in the open. I don't like that. You got the bedroom back here. This is nice. Oh, there's Joel and Tanya. Damn, that's, this is our adventures here. Oh my god. I oh my god. You I know them. You guys find anything cool? Uh we found a really cool 
recliner right there. Oh, you have to go she check could it sit out. in there. In this Allegro right oh, here? Yeah, she could see me in all my glory. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Wow. Yes. <laughs> my eyes. I definitely got to check that out then. Oh, yeah. Gotta you guys been out. into the uh, Outlaw, the yes. Class A toy hauler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that? I want to go look at that. It's nice. When you walk in there, look. Go up and then well, look back at the front bed. Okay. It's above the driver's seat. Okay. All right. Let me know if you see something wrong there. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Challenge <laughs> accepted. <Interesting. laughs> okay. This is the Class A toy hauler outlaw that Joel and Tanya said we have to go in. And there's, I guess there's a surprise in there that we need to discover. I like the paint on it though. I like it. Paint's nice. Got another entrance down there, probably in the garage. All right, following you. You got your seating face in the TV, mm -hmm. in your dinette there. No second TV, which is kind of a bummer. You need the second TV so you can watch the Cubs while Leslie's watching whatever crap she's watching. Crap. So, because it's a toy hauler, there's not a ton of living space. No. You lose a little bit with the garage back there. A two-piece shower, not a fan. Small little bathroom. Bedroom. I would definitely use queen bed. This. Queen bed. Yeah, I would definitely use this as entertainment space. Yeah, for sure. Not necessarily put a toy in it. I would just it'd be my outdoor living space. All right, we'll head out there. That's where the that's where the surprise is. Well, we're supposed to come out here and then look forward. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I see it. What? It's the top. It's falling off. Oh, yeah, man. Dang. Oh, I found it. Yeah. That's crazy. I was thinking it was going to be like a feature. Something cool that we needed to see. But it's like, a, it's not a, not a good, it's not a good feature. Because when you look back this way, you see this. This. <laughs> I didn't even see it. I guess that thing comes down to make a bonk, and I yeah. guess maybe the mechanism is having an issue or something, yeah. but anyway. It's off. All right. Well, I was going to buy it, but now, you know, 174 they'd have to knock off at least 30 bucks to fix that. Man, the whole thing is janky. Look, the, the whole, everything's leaning that way. Not just not just the frame here, like the cabinets up there are leaning. Well, it's because it's attached to this. Yeah, I guess it all. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, I think that's a wrap yeah. from the Ocala RV show. Used show. Used show. So here's what happened. La Mesa RV took all their used inventory and moved it to a field and called it an RV show. Well, yeah. Well, a lot of people do that. Yeah, yeah, I would think that there would be like at least a couple of dealers out here and you'd have a good mix of towables and drivables. But this is like all, all drivables. drivables, which I understand the logistics and the Maybe cost. Maybe that's their high inventory right now, so they're trying to offload. Well, I will have to say that um, this is probably the worst RV show that we've ever been to. By a lot. Well... Well, they're using it's kind of like it's kind of like the campgrounds calling it a resort, you know, and they call this an RV show. This is a lemon lot. They call it in the military because people would park their pre-owned vehicles in a specific lot on post, and people could go and purchase them. Yeah. So basically, and they were all used. Yeah. So basically, this is like a military lemon military lot. Lemon lot. Yeah. yeah. Or like a um, consignment. It's a consignment yeah. sale. It's not an RV show. Don't try to church it up, man. They're showing RVs. It's a show. Okay. Are you just saying they're displaying? They're, they're displaying. displaying. Yeah. Anyway, we're out of here. Stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. Cool. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. I would not advise coming to the Ocala RV show. If you're looking for a used drivable, I think this is a great option. It, it they had be. some good ones out here. That's true. It serves some type of purpose. And we get met people. Yeah. So that's cool too. Yeah. All right. See you next time. Bye. Bye.